Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Technical Wednesday. Bitcoin with a pump, legacy markets pumping, dollar dumping, euro pumping, what's going on? Now, let me just show you from the latest crypto update, I told you to look into this box, essentially, right above the early POC, look that for short setup, and then moving back down. Is this what we're looking right now? Let's just take a look on BTC first, shall we? Now, we came into the box last night. That's on the 30 minute time frame. So essentially the New York session made BTC go up there into that box. It's still not filled on 100%. There's a little bit left of it. And we got a pullback and the pullback is near these wicks. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people talking about that breakout and I know a lot of people were looking into shorting this high, these single prints here, but I told you on the latest update, I told you guys, look into this box. Don't look into this. Don't look into this. And even in my group, the only short trade that I posted as an idea was if we actually come into these highs, then if we come back into value area, which never happened. We never came back. I'm talking about there was a smaller, there was a smaller value area right here. So essentially this never happened, you know. So the setup never even got activated. Now, <clears throat> what I was talking on the latest crypto update, I was talking about coming to that box. Monitor the order flow and then decide. So let me just run you guys um, to the order flow. Let's just take a look. We're gonna do it together, and I'm gonna explain to you what I've been looking for and what were my ideas about it. Now let's just let's just zoom in. So there we go. Simple as right here. You can clearly see the bearish divergences, like from here. All the way up to here, from here to here. So essentially, you have a lot of longs coming in. You can even see the open interest increasing. You see the positive delta. You can see that you have bearish divergence. So if you didn't take this short, you, you're stupid, literally. Because, listen, I, I'm the type of person that's gonna keep my team, my people, 100% accountable. If you have the data in front of you, why you didn't take the trade? What's stopping you? You're already pumped. Just take it. And I told you, come into the box, monitor the oil flow. I mean, here, if you take it, if you take the trade in the order flow, ju just by that, you have super tight invalidation, 160, 190 bucks, and essentially you'll be targeting, your first main target, I would say, would be like coming below these weeks that we've done right now. So if you did this, you backed one to three hours, super easy, and from the exact setup that I told you about. If you didn't do it, that's 100% on you, and you should be accountable for that. I'm the type of person that's gonna keep all my team accountable. And I'm not gonna be like, uh, you, you don't worry about it, it's fine, next time you're gonna get it. No, 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 no. I'm a bit more direct, I'm a bit more impulsive. That's how I get things done. That's how I like my team to get things done. That's how I work. Now, about this, I wasn't even trading, I was in my dentist office right there when this all happened. And I, I was talking about it in the group, I'm in the dentist office, I'm not doing anything, but follow the plans that I have laid out. Now, what's the next thing that we are looking for? Okay, <clears throat> just to tell you, right before this pump, we had this, we had this huge bullish divergence. All right, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see it more clearly. Okay, let me just remove the red bubbles, so you can see you have low, low, high low. So between these lows, you can clearly see the bullish divergence. From here to here and to here and to here. And the CVD has been playing out perfectly. That's all I'm gonna say. CVD playing out perfectly in its finest. And still people neglect it like it's, it's, it's nothing. I mean, if you neglect it, you lose money. You're here to make money. Simple as. Now, coming to Bitcoin, what we can be looking at next. In my opinion, the first thing that I would do is... Let me just come back into the order flow. I want to take a look at the TPO chart. If we take a look at the TPO chart, essentially we have left a poor low. Two blocks. I mean, it's not that bad, but still it's fine. Essentially, we have huge single print block over here. Now, what we can do... Mm, hmm. Daily open, previous day value area. Okay, in terms of a TPO profile, previous day low, super, super, super weak in my opinion. Like, the, the high is bad as well. Um, where can we start? Now, the first thing that I would do, I would mark out this high right here. So, it's gonna be the first thing that I'm doing. And then, to be honest with you, I would mark out this low. 
this is the Pagla channel that I would mark and this is what I'll be looking for to trade for the next uh, maybe next few days essentially now it's Wednesday so maybe not the next few days but this is gonna come in handy for the next 24 hours in my opinion because you can be either looking for long opportunity here and you can be targeting this midpoint and maybe a short opportunity if you come make a swing file a pattern and then come back in simple as that now what's the next thing that I'm looking for the next thing which I'm looking for Okay, if you actually don't have a swing file pattern and you just continue upwards, I'm looking towards that weak level, 29 to 84, and I'll be talking about it as well in this crypto market update, which was like super special, it's super underrated video, guys, just got a hundred views, like, that's, that's, <laughs> meanwhile we have uh, influencers that talk about their shit coins making millions of views, like, the whole thing is rigged, it's retarded. Anyway, coming back in here. I've been talking about that next region, so I've not, no like, um, changed my thought process about it. So, yeah. In my opinion, if you don't get a swing file pattern, and you just continue grinding upwards, look towards that again. Now, let me just come back here. So, actually, if you, let's just take a look at something. Mm, this week is different than every exchange, though, but let's take a look at it. So if you come if you come up here if you come up here into 29 don't fall especially the golden pocket is gonna line up with the valuary low if you go even higher it's not uh, I don't like it this way but anyway we'll just take a look at something else from that week okay let's just take a look seven eight six mm. what if you come up all the way out there what's gonna happen? Okay, so, in my opinion, like zooming out, let's say on 4 hour time frame, on 4 hour time frame, we just filled all these single print block, nothing, nothing has changed in my opinion, like um, I'm talking about my general thought process, I'm still looking to take this to lower prices, uh, I mean I'm not talking about right now, don't, don't, don't judge that picture, I'm talking about let's say maybe we can have one more push to the upside and then have the move down in my opinion um i view this move up as a correction and generally the momentum is shifted to the downside in my opinion that's how i view it about btc and these are the local setups which i'm looking for generally the strongest and the best place as support is 26.66 sorry not 26.66 26066 that's the first strong support which needs to hold why because it's lining up with the high volume node generally this whole consolidation range um and the weak level as well so this is going to be the first major important zone to hold now <coughs> should we come up well in my opinion let's just take a look at something else as well let's take a look at this <laughs> okay well super locally super locally speaking if right now let me just come back in here this high here because oops coming back here so right now we're below the view app mm, which point should really open so essentially if you come if you come into this area right here okay something that you can be looking for if you come into this area today and you have bearish divergences coming on the CVD, you can be looking for another drop, essentially take out these highs, these lows, sorry, if you take out these lows, that's that's the main, um, that's gonna be the main target, like, that's the first, like, local setup, that's the first thing which I'm gonna be looking for, okay? And overall, my preferred one is just a swing file pattern of the high, okay? Just a swing file pattern of the high, and essentially this target can even go lower, like, one to six is gonna be fine, um, I'm still looking to fully fill in that box because this box I have matched it perfectly with the whole single prints. Let me just come in here and let's just take a look if there's, um, if they're being filled actually. If they're fully filled, to put it that way. No, they're not fully filled. You can clearly see that. So yeah, that box, box is perfectly matching. So yeah, look into for another rise up there. Okay, just look for another rise. I said I can look at that. So I want to look over here as well. That's it for BTC. Simple as that. Let's just move into the ES. 
so about it yes i'm still looking for another rise up to be honest with you and yes i have a long for 43.75 which is looking like this tell me when was the last time you saw people trading having a free discord giving free information showing people payouts showing people how to manage money how to correctly ma make money in the market and uh, still get a hundred views i don't know how that thing works but anyway still look i posted this setup on my discord i've taken it right now one to five risk well, i'm still looking for that fully value rotation about the yes so in my opinion um, we should have another rise to the upside i mean it, potentially right now we're testing this daily as a support coming to here and then maybe have a move down and especially the first strong area of support which i'm gonna be looking for is gonna be this area right here 44 34 and 44 20 so essentially this 10 dollar region um that's, the, that's something that I'm, um, I'm definitely looking into let's just take a look at a few things let's take a look from this low so yeah generally it's gonna be like super important area to hold why as well we can take a look at this let's just take a look at this go and poke it yeah it's coming there as well so yeah just look for this setup on the yes that's the thing that i'm looking for okay have a full value area rotation then move back down to the golden pocket essentially if, in my opinion if you come into here then you can be looking for another rise up maybe or at least like a partial rise and then maybe move down but anyway we, we're way too ahead of that to be talking about this in my opinion you can clearly see that this is a w pattern um in my opinion is this like a reversal i don't think so because this is just a range and i've been talking about this range for a while just trade the range with no bias simple as that a lot of people neglected but listen the people that neglected it are losing money are here to make money or lose money it's your it's your choice coming into ethereum in, in ethereum no changes to my thought process i'm still looking to, to have another rise up there and then take this win trade um until that happens I'm, I'm pretty much flat on ethereum i have absolutely no setups right now i mean it's pretty much the same story with bitcoin Right now Ethereum is absolutely following Bitcoin in every single move, so yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go deep on that, but let's take a look at the DXY. So the DXY if you take a look on the four hour time frame, very very simple. Here we have this weak level, and I've been talking about a weak level since we actually came above this one and we back tested it as support. You can clearly see test, test, another test, move up, middle of the parallel channel, back test, move up simple as that just look on the four hour time frame a lot of people over complicate dxy making ffgs as single prints etc like what, if, what the fuck are you an, an art uh, an art guy uh, like i don't know what's wrong with these people nowadays <laughs> you can make things very simple for yourself why do you want to over complicate your life why you want to do that doesn't make any sense listen come into this weekly have a rejection move back back test it perfectly on the four hour time frame and they have another move down is this a reversal point should we talk about that is this a reversal point it, it is likely it is likely but first let's lose a support level this is just a rejection from resistance we should be looking for a sign of weakness as a loss of a level a loss of a level in my opinion the first support level which you can clearly see on my chart is the parallel channel mid which is kind of medium one then below that you have the weak level and i put more pressure on that lower weak level 102.921 now take a look on the weekly candles on the dxy the dxy weekly candles look at them okay now if you just spread the box okay take a look at these weeks okay so as you can see clearly i've been um like the middle of the parallel channel yeah so it's been support support moving back below moving back up on the move back up you back test that have another move up to the parallel channel high move back down here you kind of make like a partial rise coming below back test that move back down so right now we can be just like back testing them and have and then have the move up higher in my opinion let me just mark out this i have no changes to my dxy Old process i'm still looking for a high to be taken out i don't have any changes to that to be honest and yeah basically that's it for the dx i'm gonna remove this because i like to look at the exact levels okay very very clearly you can see we have um 
these equal lows here so essentially this is going to be a liquidity as well so if there's going to be any liquidity runs on the dxy that's definitely going to be um the first area to look into now essentially in if we zoom in okay if we zoom in let's just take a look from let's say to here to here you have the golden pocket up there okay so essentially you can be just like coming back into the golden pocket back test it and have the move down so this is going to be something that I'm definitely keeping an eye on and yeah just going to be looking for longs on EURUSD and Audi USD shorts on USD CAD. Let's just take a look at USD CAD shall we? USD CAD. Okay. Bam. USD CAD. Let's just take a look at the daily time frame. Let's just remove these things. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let me just remove this. Uh, remove this one. Let's just take a look at the daily time. So on the daily time frame, you can clearly see the rejection from the weekly candle. I mean, so from the weekly horizontal level. And let's just take a look at something else as well. If we take a look at this, where is this coming up? Relation pockets. Yeah, of course, it's gonna be there. Um, hmm. Interesting stuff for the USD CAD to be honest with you. Now, we'll just take a look at something else as well. So, this day level, I'm gonna move it here. Let me just zoom in. We have a daily up there. Let's take a look on the one hour time frame what we should be monitoring for usd cat usd cat is an interesting pair which i do like to monitor let's just take a look at this okay so yeah generally if we come into that region to be honest with you i'm gonna be looking for a short setup very very clean invalidation and yeah this is gonna be like the primary target so yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna set a load right here at this daily level so let's just take a look at the upper consolidation range. Yeah, the point control is there as well, but at the moment we're rejecting the value very low. Potentially this could be just a deviation then failing to rotate and move back down. Um, now, ta -ta 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 -ta. let's just fix this. But yeah, generally as you can see, like the value area high of this range, support, 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 if we move back in. So yeah, uh, it's, it's not the best setup in my opinion because i don't know if it's not very likely that we actually come up there so yeah just be mindful of this about how the usd how the usd essentially this monthly held very very well if you take a look at the four hour time frame that's that's why i don't understand people who neglect horizontal levels when they work to such a perfection now about how the usd you can clearly see the relations between value area high and value area low vach val vach maybe point of control let's just take a look at the point of control i uh, saw the golden pocket golden pocket from low to high okay not the best confluence let's move it to the most latest high and low not that not that far ago okay so you can clearly see the point of control is coming into the golden pocket as well so yeah this is gonna be primarily support for now usd and if the dxy is actually reversing from that point we can be looking for a long setup potentially with clean validation below that low and um as previous week high comes in, comes in here this is actually an old very old previous week high i'm just gonna mark it out as liquidity right now so i just take it up to that to that week and essentially just look into that region as well so yeah this is gonna be like the first um primary setup on our usd and then if that actually fails i mean if we don't even get to that area because it's possible that we never actually come into the point of control. We just break, we consolidate below the VAC, we just break out without, in, without even giving us the opportunity to jump in. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it's a possibility, right? So let's take a look at the EURUSD. Essentially, what I'm going to be talking about the EURUSD is something very, very simple. It's about value area rotations. So let me just show you guys quickly what I mean by that. Moving to the EURUSD, not going to extend this. Let's just take a look this zoomed in. So this is very, very simple stuff, guys. So... We have this upper range, you break from that, you backtest the value area low perfectly, moving back down, so this is going to be deleted for now. 
Now here we create this low range, okay? So we have multiple days of consolidation right here. And let's just take a look at the weekly cycles. Friday to Monday, move up, move up. Tuesday, have the move down into the value area low. And go on pocket. Simple stuff, guys. Simple stuff. Bam. Come in here. You can absolutely clearly see the candles on the one hour time frame that they're defending that region. You also make a swing fella pattern of this um, session close low. And you have the move up. Now, we're into this golden pocket right here. It is possible to have some kind of pullback. Okay, so I would say the first area which I'm personally looking for is this one right here. Why? Because the value are high in the point control, primarily the area which most amount of longs came in yesterday. And also if you take a look, let's say like this, you can clearly see the golden pocket is coming down as well. So yeah, this is going to be like the first primary box which I am looking for as support. I know it's a little bit wide, but it's, 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 it's fair enough. Um, generally, you don't want to be accepted back into that range, and even if you come back in, you don't want to see a full rotation to the Valari low. So, if you're going to be taking this setup, I would really love to have the stop loss below the Tuesday low, and then essentially have this liquidity taken out. So, yeah, marking this out, marking this out, simple stuff, guys. Marking this, yeah, that's it. That's it for your USD. Simple as, and literally, I believe. Um, 20 minutes of work, I laid down plans how you can make a living. Simple stuff, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you like the content, give it a like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye!